In today's video, we're going to be comparing two different real estate investment trusts, which are Realty Income and WP Carry. These are stocks that I talk about all the time on this channel, and I happen to be a shareholder of both companies. These two companies are powerhouses within the REIT sector, which have really seen an increase in inflows during this period of high inflation. And the honest truth is, you really can't go wrong with either of these picks. Both companies have been performing excellently well up to this point. But maybe you're wondering which one should receive the most amount of attention in your portfolio. Today we're going to look at a wide range of different metrics and financials and compare both companies' stocks. We'll also try to determine which one might be the best for you, depending on what you happen to be looking for in your portfolio. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First up we have WP Carry, ticker symbol WPC. This REIT ranks among the largest net lease REITs with an enterprise value of approximately $18 billion and a diversified portfolio of commercial real estate that includes 1,428 net lease properties. WP Carry's strategy includes owning properties that they deem as being operationally critical, which includes self-storage properties, government offices, and K-12 schools. For almost five decades, this company has invested in high-quality, single-tenant industrial, warehouse, office, retail, and self-storage properties that are subject to long-term net leases with built-in rent escalators. A large portion of their real estate is located outside the U.S., with roughly 34.9% being located in Europe and other continents. Then we have Realty Income, ticker O, which is a REIT that's also known as the Monthly Dividend Company. For more than 52 years, Realty Income has paid monthly dividends to shareholders with 100 consecutive quarterly increases. Since being publicly listed on the New York Stock Exchange, this company has provided a compound annual return of 14.4%. They've also been able to provide a 4.4% compound annual dividend growth rate since being listed on the exchange. Realty Income invests in a wide range of different industries including grocery, dollar, and convenience stores as well as restaurants and drug stores. We'll start by looking at each company's dividend. WP Carry pays investors a quarterly dividend whereas Realty Income pays monthly dividends. Right now in terms of the best yield, we have WPC as the clear winner. WP Carry currently offers a yield of 5.48% compared to Realty Income's 4.72%. Since being publicly listed, neither company has ever skipped or reduced their dividend, which is great. Both companies have a long history of raising their dividends every single quarter. You can see that WPC has increased their dividend every quarter since April of 2001. Realty Income has also raised their dividend every quarter for the last 33 years of their existence. Realty Income is currently a dividend aristocrat stock, which means they've been able to increase their dividends every year for a minimum of 25 years while being publicly listed. They're currently one of three REITs that are dividend aristocrats, with the other two being Essex Property Trust with 28 years of dividend growth and Federal Realty Investment Trust with more than 50 years of dividend growth. WP Carry is expected to become an aristocrat next year as they've been able to increase their dividends for more than 24 years up to this point. I typically don't like to say that something's a certain bet, but given their performance, I think it's pretty likely that they will become an aristocrat next year. Neither of these companies pay a consistent special dividend either. WPC has done this in the past, but the last time they paid a supplemental dividend was all the way back in 2013. When looking at the share price for these stocks, they're both down for 2022, but they have been performing better than the market in general. When interest rates soar, investors tend to load up on dividend-paying investments, which typically results in equity REITs performing better than the market. As of the making of this video, you can see WP Carry has outperformed Realty Income this year, with WPC being down 4.75% and O being down 11.15%. Actually, both companies were actually performing quite well up until late August when equity REITs started to suffer more. Obviously, long-term performance is what matters most, so if we expand back to 1998 when WPC was first listed, Realty Income's share price has increased a lot more than WP Carries. You can see on the bottom that since their IPOs, WP Carry has grown by more than 257% and Realty Income's grown by more than 650%. Of course, in order to get a really good view of their total returns, we need to factor in the dividend distributions. That's why we need to use a DRIP calculator, which will show us the total return for these stocks with dividends being reinvested. For this comparison, we're going to use a start date of January 22nd, 1998, which was WP Carry's IPO. Even though Realty Income had their public offering four years earlier, we're just going to go with WPC start date to make things easier. If we go with a $10,000 investment into each stock back in January of 98, we can see that Realty Income is the clear winner in terms of growth. Over the course of 25 years nearly, Realty Incomes provided a total return of 1,935.43% with an average annual return of 12.92%. Your $10,000 investment would have grown all the way to $203,436.28 thanks to compounding dividends. 
For WP Carry, you would have seen a total return of 1,681.12%, or an average annual return of 12.32%. Your $10,000 investment would now be $178,262.29. With the amount of shares that you now own, you'd be earning roughly $818 a month in dividends from Realty Income and roughly $839.25 a month from WP Carry. So even though Realty Income provided the overall better return by roughly $25,000, you'd still be earning more in dividends from WP Carry if you were to stop reinvesting your dividends, which is pretty interesting. But regardless, both of these investments did really well and both of them beat the market. Now that we've seen that historically both of these two REITs have done really well, let's now look at where they are today. We'll start by looking at their real estate portfolios and I gathered all this information from their latest investor presentations. Realty income is significantly larger in terms of the number of properties that they own, at 11,733 properties compared to WP Carey's 1,428. Realty income also collects roughly $3.1 billion in rent each year compared to WP Carey's $1.33 billion. As of third quarter this year, both had the exact same occupancy percentage at 98.9%, which is really great for a REIT. When it comes to their WALT, otherwise known as their weighted average lease term, WPC has the clear advantage at 10.9 years compared to Realty's 9.5 years. But still, both of these are really good numbers. Both of these companies claim that they target properties that are lower risk and more recession proof, but in my own personal opinion, I think WP Carry is actually more conservative than Realty Income. Looking at Realty's industrial diversification, we can see a lot of retail stores and restaurants, which definitely aren't recession-proof. I think all of us saw plenty of these types of businesses go out during the 2008 recession. WP Carry, on the other hand, holds a lot of self-storage properties, schools, government offices, and transportation properties. But on the other hand, Realty Income does target dollar stores and general low-cost grocery stores, which typically do better during harder economic times. Plus, given just how big Realty Income is also helps, since they own so many properties in their portfolio, if a couple can't pay rent, it won't hurt their bottom line as much. Now that we've looked at their real estate portfolios, let's also look at their funds from operation for each company, which is one of the most important metrics for an equity read. It's the cash flow from their operations, which includes things like amortization and depreciation. Since REITs own properties and they receive rent from their tenants, it's a much more important number compared to more traditional metrics. Normally I would use adjusted funds from operation, but for some reason YCharts, which is the website that I'm using to create these line graphs, doesn't seem to have it. AFFO is the same as FFO, only it includes rent increases, capital expenditures, and routine maintenance. So AFFO is considered a much more accurate number, but FFO is still a good metric to look at. Over the last 10 years, we can see that WP Carry has been growing a lot more in terms of funds from operation. The 10-year growth chart for WPC shows they've grown 570% compared to O's 344%. What this means is WP Carry, even though they own a lot less properties, is seeing their rent collection soar faster from their properties than Realty Income over the last 10 years. There could be a lot of reasons for this, which could be they have more desirable properties or fewer losses from the sale of their assets. It would take a lot of digging and research to find out why this might be the case. Regardless, as interest rates rise, both companies are going to face harder times ahead. But fortunately, because both companies focus on properties that are more recession-proof, especially for WP Carry, these two REITs are in a much better position than others. So in summary, after all we've looked at, which of these two should be considered the superior company? The truth is, both of these are excellent companies with great track records. Owning both, in my opinion, would be a great option for investors, but in terms of which one is the best, I think it comes down to what you personally want. Realty Income offers investors a monthly dividend and a much longer track record than WP Carry. But on the other hand, WPC offers a higher dividend yield to investors. And in my opinion, I think WPC is better geared for a recession. But then again, Realty Income's size will also help them. Neither company is currently in a bad situation, and both companies just recently post some good financial results from the previous quarter. More recently, Realty Income has been ramping up their portfolio growth compared to WP Carry. A year ago, they acquired Verite, which was another real estate investment trust, which at the time had nearly 4,000 properties and 88.7 million square feet. The company took control of these properties, but they actually spun off all of Verite's office properties into a new REIT, called Orion Office REIT. It was a good move in my opinion, because up to this point, this REIT's been performing very badly. Not to mention, Realty Income just also acquired their first casino property back in February for $1.7 billion, marking their first entrance into the gaming industry. So if I had to pick one REIT, it would have to be Realty Income, and what convinced me was its monthly dividend and its greater track record. But like I said, both investments have done very well for me. If you happen to be interested in any of these companies, be sure to perform your own research and come to your own conclusion before making an investment decision. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video, and if you liked what you saw, then feel free to give this video a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more high-yielding investing strategy videos. Again, thank you again for watching, and until next time, take care.